Mr. Balmore and Mr. Lambert, uh, that was actually, uh, uh, that was easier for me to sit through than either of your classes. So, uh, <laughs> you know, hey, let's, uh, I'd like to start off by uh, thanking a few people, my mom and my sister, who flew in from Boston without my knowing in this morning. Thank you guys very much. Uh, uh, I want to thank all my friends, everybody here in the front row, thank you so much. Shout out to the Ultimate Team, because uh, I miss you guys. Shout out to uh, whoever made Ro Instant Ramen, uh, and shout out to whoever created Blame Nation, otherwise all these would be crinkly, and that's not a good thing. Okay. As all of you know, last week Macaulay went through a bit of a fiasco in the form of a, in, uh, an app called Yik Yak. I had just gotten back from music horror, so when a friend of mine who remained anonymous for the sake of not being assassinated by the administration after his talk, <laughs> ran up to me screaming about how I just had to download this app, uh, and shortly after downloading, I was laughing my head off, yicking and yakking along with the rest of you. <laughs> Roughly eight hours later, however, um, someone sent out uh, a pretty uh, offensive yak that actually kind of made me sick to my stomach. Uh, whereas most of these posts were clever remarks and many parodies, this one post was pretty sick and demented. I took a step back and tried to look at this whole situation from the outside. And what I saw was, was, was quite disturbing. Uh, we were all commenting on each other's insecurities and downfalls for our own entertainment. No one was safe from belittlement and jest. It looked like the Roman Colosseum. After a few more minutes of thought, another idea popped into my head that Yik Yak is Macaulay's true form. You see, we live in a society that is willing to judge people based on achievements rather than merit and integrity, and will instantly pounce on our fellow students' insecurities, flaws, and inadequacies. The academy is just a way for us to gossip and judge each other on a broader scale, yet retain our anonymity. Here at Macaulay, we thankfully don't judge people due to their race or religion, but we gladly judge based on social fabrications and individual shortcomings. We have a tendency to belittle our fellow students based on trivial matters that hold little importance, as well as personality traits that are beyond our control. I think there's only one explanation for our constant criticisms of each other. It has to do with our competitive nature. It's the curse of attending an all-boys boarding school. Uh, we all do whatever it takes to raise our heads just an inch above our classmates without regard to their well-being. The overall mentality of this school can be pretty judgmental. And as we go, as uh, and as we go as far as supporting this constant teasing, trying to justify it and pass it off as just something guys do, in reality, we're just being immature. There's really no need to rip on each other about what we wear or what we love to do. If we are all able to support others' decisions instead of turning our noses towards them, this place would become a much more loving atmosphere. In addition to this constant belittlement uh, us guys give each other, we also feel the need to let our achievements define who we are instead of our merit. It's just another way of ripping on our classmates, all while letting our egos run wild. To give an example, after every grading period comes, uh, after every grading period comes the constant prodding from all of our fellow classmates regarding our GPAs. In reality, no one really cares about your GPA. They just want to brag and see if theirs is higher than yours. I think this uh, paints a pretty nice picture of how this school can sometimes work. We'd rather put our self-image above our humility. Instead of bragging about our achievements, we should be lifting each other. Knowing that, uh, I challenge you to try and humble yourselves and, and to think before you speak out against someone. There are a couple of ways to get you through the day without putting on errors. Uh, I was actually listening to a sermon not too long ago that really put things into perspective for me personally. Uh, it talked about how, more often than not, Christians tend to be the most judgmental people at all, and how uh, we gladly scorn and scoff at others that we pretend are lesser people or more sinful than we are. In actuality, as followers of Christ's message, we should be the most humble of all. You see, if we truly believe that Christ died for all of us, then that should be inexclusive. This includes, you know, that one guy you hate, or that one group of people that you absolutely can't stand. Naturally, we want to believe that we are more important than anyone else in the world. But I'll tell you something. Christ didn't die any more for you than he did for everyone else. Stop hating that one group of people for simply being themselves, because in Jesus' eyes, you're in no way better than them. We're all saying it's an even playing field, so I feel the need to poke fun at anyone, especially your peers. Even if it's just for fun, for whatever reason, it can still be hurtful. We should be judged by the content of our character, and that's that. Focus on people's integrity and temperament before you take a shot at them and become a better person from them. 
We need to become the change we want to see in the world. And the last thing we need is for this school to remain spiteful. We can change that just by changing our demeanors towards each other. This place is a huge blessing, and we should be lifting each other up as brothers, not constantly putting each other down. Put your own ego and selfishness aside and humble yourself during the day. You'll feel better about not only yourself, but everyone else as well. And I just wanted to, to take the time to say that out of all of us, I think this message is, is truly for me. I, uh, I, I wrote it for myself. Uh, all four years, I've been the guy to take things too far or say something you know, about someone that, that, that was hurtful. And um, I just want to say thank you guys for putting up with me. And um, thank you very much. Thank you.